Welcome to episode 18 of Mastering Fortnite Save the World, where we're gonna complete Home Base Storm Shield Defense 5. But first, I am spending a point to upgrade my building and repair speed. Before we can continue with the Storm Shield Defense, we need to place a new amplifier, which I did. But since I've been burning all of my metal on the other structures, I'm gonna go into farm and complete the doing the bull dance as well. While doing that, I just need to play a little bit more with the constructor to activate the base and have a crazy amount of fun. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going into an Atlas mission, pretty much the same one that I played in the previous video. I'm just not going all YOLO style on upgrading. This time, just giving it a few points of upgrade. The base concept for me is, of course, I need to complete the Atlas, but I want to be farming some metal so that I can upgrade my new amplifier and complete the Stone Wood Storm Shield Defense 5. As always, making sure to rescue some survivors, do some of the different things that will aid me in relation to the side quest that we have so that I can get more rewards for my time. As you can see, once again, completely AFK styling the Atlas, getting it like no sweat whatsoever, just using the stone for it. And look at the amount of quests I have completed here, just for the grind for remembering to do all of these extra things in the game. So keep an eye on the quest log. Also completed troll thieves by whacking a mole with these trolls, the blue glow trolls, and getting gold for storm missions, shoot for the high school, got my battle breakers, goodies, and the difficulty increase rewards, making it so that I'm now ready. I upgraded the metal for my last amplifier, and I didn't have enough to go tier 3, but I figured it would be enough with a tier 2 structure. We have the takers coming in the game moving forward. It is a game changer. I absolutely love the takers, but it was it was pretty easy. The first wave that we have is pretty much just a defense. You just need to wait it out, which is always easy in Stonewood, especially with the constructor and with the base. The next one was a defeat opponent. So once again, I went to the spawn and went crazy with Bull Rush. Wave three was one of those waited out kind of waves and the opponents are still so weak that we can trap them in. The last wave, however, was a bit more challenging. It was a defeat opponents count one and it was, uh, they were getting very, very close to my structure, to my inner structure. So that was, uh, I'm gonna be uh, a little bit more careful moving forward. But as you can see, we unlocked the squad for ENT, meaning more survivors. And once we got that up and running, we're getting a lot more power, we're getting more health. I went in to bash my login reward llama and of course also the mini llamas. Remember to get those out of the way. The mini llamas are never going to get better, but you need the gold and you need to be able to retire, to recycle whatever, all the junk you have in there. So remember to bash them as often as you can. They're not amazing, but the rewards from them really, really, really add up. So this was moving to like very very close to the end of Stonewood. I made sure that I put everything that I could into the collection book to also get rewards there. It means no cluttering, no trash in my inventory and easy rewards that I can use for <laughs> something better than having trash things in my inventory. So that was pretty much what I had to share in this video. Remember guys if you use my supporter creator ID, Logan Hansen in the Epic Game Store, a portion of sales goes to me. Thanks for watching guys.